Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. And real quick, I've just got a few jewelry pieces that I've finished up that I want to share before I go on uh, and list them on, in my store. <clears throat> Here's the uh, green and gold mask. Textured back, back side. And here's the silver and purple and it's actually supposed to be green, but it didn't turn out green. It's actually black. So then there's that one. And that again. Right. Sorry, I'm a hot mess. If y'all can hear in the background, my fish tank is about to drive me over the edge. Just say it. Okay, and here's the first of the sets, and this is the black and gold with the earrings. Yeah, pretty. That one may be my favorite so far. Alright, and here's the purple, silver, and gold. Again, I'm sorry because I can't see a thing through the, through the camera <laughs> until I turn it back down to my angle. There we go. Again, really, really pretty. This one hangs from the other end. That's <clears throat> why it looks a little different. Alright, so there's the masks. Okay. This one's a little different for me, I have to admit. A little more modern style than I normally than I normally do. Look where I can see. The blue in the uh, <coughs> the blue in the groove right here is um, Pearl X powders mixed with my glaze. And I put a good thick layer of it in there so that it's kind of like an enameling. Oh my goodness. And these are some silver foiled beads that I made, possibly in a video at this point. I can't even remember. I'm telling you, I'm so annoyed by that fish tank right now. My husband messed with it for over an hour yesterday trying to get it. It's running. It's the waterfall filter. It's running. It just will not suck water up for some reason. Okay, it'll suck it up. It just won't spit it back out. So, it's just making annoying noise and doing nothing. So, we're going to have to... I told him, you're going to have to have fish tank duty again this evening. So hopefully we'll get that fixed. Alright, and then here's the back. The kind of a hammered metal look on that one. I really like the way it turned out, though. Really pretty. Love that silver in there. Alright, there's that one. Okay, this one's going to be hard to film all in one shot, so I'm going to come down and do it in sections. But Norma, this is the one you had asked about, and uh, I really tried very hard to uh, fit this in with a kind of a Aztec or Mayan kind of theme, and I just could not, I couldn't pull it off. It did not fit with the pieces that I made to go with it in that uh, theme so I went ahead and put together another piece and I'll show that next uh, but here's this the bottom piece that I started out with and when I had made this piece I had made a bunch of um, different uh, cabochons and beads to go with it so that's how I was able to make two entire necklaces basically with the same set of beads and then the crown now let me see if I can probably won't be able to but the crown not only is it erg, dimensional and 
several layers but inside there and I'm not gonna be able to get a shot of it um, it's got that Christmas tree embossing powder there ooh, right there you can see the green right down in there good shot Lynn. oh yeah excellent I didn't want it to just be dark in there I wanted you to be able to see something so getting it to hang straight on the tilted surface is not the easiest so there is that there we go. better focus Alright. Okay, and here's the other one. And you'll see what I'm talking about. I actually made this bead right here to go with that after you made the suggestion. And it just did not this was way too angular for the roundness of the of the other piece. So I just went ahead and made because I had the beads in the cabochon this matching piece. There we go. And this has got some of the heart glitter in it. That bead is just, I mean, that cabochon is just gorgeous. The same thing on the back. Really, really pretty piece. I'm very happy with the way that one turned out. And then, and like I said, the matching pyramid bead here those beautiful amber colored check glass beads oh, they have that purpley aurora borealis effect on them oh they're so pretty and then the matching bead here and this is another one that I've done the toggle at the front do that occasionally Again with the heart beat, the heart glitter right there in the front. So this has some polymer clay bead caps. So there we go. And it'll be a few days before I get these um, listed in the store, just because I'll have to do all the photos and, and stuff like that. It takes a while description so normally you have plenty of time if you want me to list one of these reserved for you or if I didn't hit the mark let me know and I'll try again <laughs> but I really love the way these two pieces came out that I was able to make two entire uh, really great pendants out of out of those pieces so Alright, I do have another video um, coming up. I totally just played around over the weekend. I don't usually, when my husband's home, I don't usually like, I'm not very good at answering emails or comments or, um, I, we just basically spend time together. So over the weekend, I don't do very much um, here at my desk. So, this weekend was kind of gloomy and was supposed to rain didn't so I did have a chance to sit and just play around so I'll come back and share that with you here in a bit alright that's all the pieces that I've got I think it was 10 all together with the three that I showed in the previous video so I've got 10 new pieces I'll, I'll get up listed on my store so I will holler at y'all later bye now <laughs>